Modern generative AIs don't just write complex articles and create stunning images. They also make life much easier for coders. If you're an experienced developer, you've probably encountered situations where you'd rather not deal with boring tasks. And if you are a beginner, you probably have tons of questions about different aspects of coding. Today, we'll talk about a tool that not only answers all your questions, but also handles most of the routine tasks for you, quickly and efficiently. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, we are talking about Cursor AI, a cutting-edge platform designed to assist developers. I'll pretend I don't know anything about programming and try to tackle a complex task using this tool more specifically, creating a Telegram bot and integrating it into WordPress. Let's see how it goes. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's dive in and explore what this AI can do. Cursor AI Tutorial Cursor AI is a powerful code assistant that can significantly improve the development process. According to some bloggers, Cursor AI, with its built-in artificial intelligence, allows even those with no coding or programming experience to create fully functional projects. Speaking of pricing, the code editor offers a free trial of the Pro version's capabilities for two weeks, which includes 2,000 completions and 50 slow premium requests. The Pro plan itself costs $20 per month and provides unlimited completions, 500 fast premium requests per month and unlimited slow premium requests. Additionally, it includes 10 or one mini uses per day. The business plan allows team integration for $40 per user per month. There is an application available for macOS that you can download directly from the website. Let's do it and launch the app. Once we open Cursor AI, sign in and adjust some settings, we may notice that the interface resembles Visual Studio Code. On the first launch, it even offers to import settings, plugins, and projects from VS Code. Now, let's create a new project and link a project folder. Here's what the workspace looks like. It's very similar to VS Code. But what makes Cursor AI stand out is its key feature – integration with large language models like Claude and ChatGPT, which assist with coding. Let's test it out now. At the top, we can access multiple panels. Here we can enable the terminal. It might come in handy later. There's also a right side panel with three tabs. The chat tab allows us to interact with the large language model. In the drop down list, we can select different versions and work on our project. Composer is a tab where we can manage the entire project, edit code, and organize files. When interacting with Cursor AI through Composer, it sees the context and understands the content of our project. Lastly, there's Bug Finder, an AI tool designed to detect and fix bugs in the project. Since our project is currently empty, we won't run it just yet. There are claims that Cursor AI can help develop an entire project, even without programming knowledge. Let's test this by simulating a scenario where we know nothing about coding or only have a basic understanding. To do this, I'll assign it a complex and challenging task to see how well it handles it. Let's go! I want to explore the possibility of adding news posts to my WordPress blog via Telegram. I intentionally didn't mention the word bot. I simply wrote Telegram and asked the AI assistant for the best way to implement this. Let's see what it suggests. For this task, I'll be using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, a powerful model, especially for programming. 
I enjoy working with Claude. So let's see how well it handles this challenge in Cursor AI. It goes straight to the point. Right away Claude tells me it can help set up WordPress posting via Telegram. The first instruction is, first you need to create a Telegram bot. So it understands that we'll be working through a Telegram bot as well as a WordPress plugin. I assume it will generate the entire plugin code for us. Here's this code. I won't analyze it for now. After all, I'm supposedly a complete beginner in programming. Claude says that to use this solution, we need to create a Telegram bot, install the plugin, and set up a webhook. That's exactly what we're about to do. Let's see how this plan works. We expect the messages will turn to the draft posts in WordPress. Here are the additional features it suggests adding. Supporting images and other media, custom posts format, category selection, post status selection, multiple authorized users, message formatting support, and so on. The AI also provides security recommendations. So it's offering to generate a WordPress plugin. Telegram to WordPress.php We can either copy the code or apply it directly. Since Claude provided only a single script, we can apply it right from this window. However, if it had generated multiple files, we'd click the Apply All button. Let's go ahead and do that. We can see now how Cursor AI automatically creates a new folder. WP Content – Plugins – Telegram to WordPress. Inside it generates the file. Telegram to WordPress.php New changes are highlighted in green. Since this is a new file, everything is highlighted. We can either accept or reject it. Of course, I'm clicking accept. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Now let's follow the instructions to create a new bot and execute its plan. Save the bot token, install the plugin, and so on. This means first we should go to Telegram and then to our WordPress site. In Telegram we'll launch Botfather as instructed by Cursor AI and send the slash newbot command. How should we name it? Let's call it Online Daniel Blogbot. Just a reminder. Botfather requires bot names to end with bot. And here we have the token. We need to copy it and keep it secret. Once I finish recording this video, I'll delete the bot so it won't be accessible. We've successfully completed the first set of instructions that Claude provided inside Cursor AI. Now what's next? The next step is to install the plugin. Here's how it breaks down. Create the plugin directory and file as shown above. Then activate the plugin in WordPress. I understand that we need to turn this code into a fully functional WordPress plugin. To keep everything organized, I've packed the files into a zip archive. But I also know that it won't work yet because Claude only generated a single PHP execution file. It didn't generate the necessary logic for a WordPress plugin. So if we upload this file to WordPress, we'll get an error you can see on your screen now. The package could not be installed. 
no valid plugins were found. But since they claim Cursor AI can solve any issue, let's test its capabilities. I'll screenshot this WordPress error and ask I have an error in the WP dashboard. And just as I expected, Claude now generates the proper plugin structure, explaining how we should set it up correctly. Let's apply the fixes. Now at the top of the plugin file, we see a new part of the code. I'll apply it and let's test it again. I followed all of Claude's instructions, created a zip archive, telegram to wordpress.zip, and even asked a few extra questions to build a fully structured plugin. So guys, let's not wait any longer and install the plugin right now. The installation is in progress. Now I'll click activate plugin and the plugin finally appears in the WordPress plugin list. Here it is. Telegram to WordPress. As we can see, it includes all the text suggested by Cursor AI. Of course, we could specify our name, a link to our website and so on. But anyway, the task is completed and the plugin works. What's next? Let's check the instructions that Cursor AI provided. We're at this step. Activate the plugin. Go to Settings, Telegram to WordPress. Enter your bot token and authorize chat ID. So I move to the Settings menu and choose the Telegram to WP section. Here we have a field to enter the bot token. But what does authorized chat ID mean? Let's ask Claude. It replies, to find your Telegram chat ID, search for at user infobot, start a chat with it, send any message, and it will reply with your chat ID. Let's test this out. I just found the bot named User Infobot. However, it seems it's not the right one. Let's check the name. User Infobot. Yes, looks like this is the one. I start a chat, send a message and get our chat ID. This is our Telegram user chat ID, so we need to save it in WordPress. So Cursor AI helped us with this part. Now let's move on. The next step is setting up the webhook. Here's what it says. You'll need to set up the Telegram webhook to point to your WordPress site. I'm not entirely sure what this means, so, I'll ask Claude for clarification. How do I set up a Telegram webhook for my WordPress site? Let's see what it suggests. Claude offers several options. And the easiest one is to simply modify the URL it provided, replacing it with our bot token and actual domain. It explains how to do this and instructs us to open the link afterward. I'll ask it to insert the token and domain into the URL. Now let's check it out. Here in the URL, you can see our bot token and here's our site domain. We see. Okay, true, result, true, 
Description. Webhook was set. This means the webhook is successfully configured, just as Claude instructed. Now we'll go back to our original instructions. We have now completed the set up the webhook step. The next step is start using it. Message your bot on Telegram. The message will be created as a draft post in WordPress. You can modify the create post function to publish immediately if desired. OK, let's test it out. We open Telegram, go to our new bot and send it the first message. I'm curious whether it works and whether it successfully added a post. Check in WordPress. Incredible! There's not just one, but two posts. The first one was triggered when we sent the slash start command. And the second one is our actual message. Of course, we can further customize the plugin to allow adding a separate title and featured images. But these are just details that we can refine. Claude AI mentioned that the plugin is fully customizable and that we can add more features. There is still room for improvement. Overall, the fact is that with zero hassle, using just Cursor AI, we built fully functional code for a WordPress plugin and created a Telegram bot. Everything works perfectly with minimal errors. The only issue we encountered was a small problem with the plugin structure and we quickly troubleshot it. Everything else worked on the first try. We can clearly see that Cursor AI can create and modify files. Inside Composer, we can add new files by name, edit them, and customize them. We can also ask coding-related questions. There is also Bug Finder, which helps with tracking changes and debugging. In just 20 minutes, we built an entire project. So, what's my opinion? I am really impressed with Cursor AI. As a developer, I seriously consider buying the Pro version to support my work. Even if you're a beginner, this tool can help you learn and improve your coding skills significantly. Final thoughts. All right, guys, let's wrap this up with a few final takeaways. Cursor AI has integrated various LLMs that handle coding tasks exceptionally well. Plus, its interface makes it easy to create and edit files while communicating with the assistant. In my opinion, it's a fantastic tool for programmers of all levels. It quickly understood what we needed and guided us through every step of creating a plugin for writing posts. By the way, what challenge should we give it next time? If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.